Hey farmhands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the Aquamedic Evo 4. This is their new dosing pump. It's a great system. What I wanna to do today is I wanna do a little unboxing, show you what's all in the box on this episode. Next episode, we're gonna do a little bit of programming, step-by-step step, how to get this operational for your tank. All right, guys, so let's open this box and see what we got. All right, so we're getting it open here. As you can see, everything that's coming in this box it's been packaged really nicely. So what comes in this box is we got one instruction booklet. It's gonna show us how to program this Aquamedic controller. It comes with the power supply and it comes with all the connections as well for different countries and different voltages. So that's pretty nice. There is four in total. We'll put those to the side. And here is the power supply. And then let's get right to the doser. So here's the Aquamedic doser. Everything comes in individually packaged. It's a nice, isn't that a nice system? So by just looking it over, it comes with all the components you need all in one package. That is great. It's got all the connection lines as well. And as we keep digging in the box, what's nice about it, they send it like a whole package. So there's all your dosing lines you need. You don't have to go out and buy anymore. So that's a definite uh, perk about that system. And what I really like about this controller is it comes with an external controller as well. So this, what I like about this is you could have this underneath uh, your aquarium in your stand, and then you can put this on the outside. And then you don't have to always, you know, climb in underneath your tank to check on your controller. All the time you can just uh you know make sure it's there because everything's all digitally displayed and you can check through all your time and components on that and it just comes with your typical uh, network cable that just plugs in the side so it's just your typical network cable in the side just like that and you're good to go so it is a complete uh nice looking system you want to be able to trust your system on your tank you don't want to overdose and uh, burn out all your coral. What we have to do is we have to set this up. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step, uh, video of how to program and set this up in the next episode. But as we keep digging here, what I like about this system, on the back, you see this port? You can actually add another four doser, uh, another four doser to this system as well. So if you wanna dose even more different elements, like, uh, like polyplankton or some uh, RO water, anything you wanna dose, you can dose another four uh, elements as well. So that is great. It, you're not uh, constricted to what you wanna dose you. If you wanna add four more and don't need to get another controller, you just buy another external four more pumps for it and you're good to go. One other great feature about the, the Evo 4 is the size. As you guys can see, it's not very thick not very wide compared to the jabo i got the jabo behind me as well that i'm going to do a review about but i want to show you guys the difference in size so so this is your jabo now you can see your aquamedic to your jabo size so if you have a smaller shelf that you need to put a doser on you know not everyone has uh, big large aquarium stands this one is definitely going to fit more compact under your stand compared to your big uh, big jabo so you guys can see in size size difference Definitely, this one's a lot more compact. That'll definitely fit under your stand a lot better. So that is definitely one perk about that as well. So far in hands, one last thing we have to do is we have to get the Evo 4 all programmed up. Make sure each pump is running the right amount of milliliters. We have to go through each pump and test and make sure it's running correctly. If we don't, we don't want to overdose and uh, burn out corals and stuff like that. But one other thing that's good, good practice and if you want to learn to dose really uh, well is what I do, for seven days straight, I test all the major elements, you know, magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, even I do all my salinity, pH, nitrates, phosphates, and what I do is I write them all down, I put them all in my, all in my iPad, so I have a journal of how my tank works each week, and then I know efficiently how much I need to dose, so I'm not overdosing, burning my corals, or just wasting money, you know what I mean? That's one good thing to do guys, a good practice is to know your tank and how it works and how much it uses every day. And then when you get a nice beautiful controller like this, you can program it correctly and work flawlessly. So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode to come. I hope you guys tune in. I just want to thank you Aquamedic in Orlando for uh, sending me up this uh, beautiful controller to use on my 220 gallon reef tank. 
it's going to be great. I can't wait to see what kind of coral growth I'm going to get with, uh, with all the Emmy coral uh, elements as well. So thanks guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys please subscribe and hit the like button and uh, tune in for the next episode. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.